Hey guys, what's up? So we're here to check out Proxima Midnight. And I've got to say man, this assassin hero is tight. Or should we call her a villain? She is actually one of the top dogs of Thanos. Anyway, let's go through her skills real quick while we watch her full gameplay. First is her passive skill, which can be very confusing because of the description. It's either the description is completely wrong or we're not getting something. It says your next basic attack that you perform after using a skill will become a ranged strike that deals additional damage, which is true enough. However, the description says your target will get knocked back in the direction of your joystick, which is not the case. In the game, it's actually you that jumps towards the direction of your joystick. Pretty much like Ruby's passive skill or 1-1 one -one if you've played them before. You perform a short jump each time you perform a basic attack right after a skill. Also, it says that you can gain this effect again after exiting combat for 2 seconds, which is not the case. The effect will always be there the whole time. So hopefully they fix this since it's a bit confusing and I was kinda looking for that knockback effect when I was playing her. Maybe this is how her skill worked before, I'm not sure though but clearly this is not how her passive works right now. Anyway, the short jumps right after those triggered basic attacks really helps with your mobility when fighting your opponents, either to dodge an attack, escape, or chase down opponents. Next is her first skill. She charges in the specified direction and deals damage. She also gains 20% movement speed and a shield. Your shield increases by a tiny bit each time you damage an enemy hero. The maximum times you can increase your shield is up to 5 times. So just remember to keep damaging your opponents once you've used this skill since it increases your shield. But remember guys, that shield you have is really weak. It can only absorb a bit of damage and it does help but you're still squishy man. However, it does become more reliable for mid to late game since the shield is also based on your physical attack. Also, you can use this skill again the second time and this time you can jump, dealing another set of damage that's the same from your first hit. You also slow down any nearby heroes for 2 seconds. Now remember your passive skill guys, increase damage of basic attack after every skill, right? So it's better to use the first skill first part, basic attack, then first skill second part, and then again basic attack. That way you're really maximizing your damage output rather than using the two parts of the first skill consecutively then doing a basic attack. It doesn't necessarily have to be in that order since you have your other skills as well. My point is to just always have your basic attacks in between your skills. Actually, your first and third skills can be used twice. So having those basic attacks sandwiched after every skill is really useful to increase your overall damage on your combos. Next one is your second skill. This is a crowd control skill but do remember that its knockoff is only for 0.25 seconds. But it's still good to stop the enemies on their tracks. You basically jump towards your target, damaging them and knocking them up. Now guys, your first and second skill can also be used for mobility when you're moving around the map. You're a jungler, so clearing those jungle monsters and visiting the lanes of your allies is your priority. So the mobility from her skills really helps. Last one is your ultimate. Okay, this one is a bit tricky guys. Your ultimate can be used twice. The first one is a long range attack that can hit opponents from quite a distance. Once you've hit an enemy with it, you can use it again, but only if their HP is below 15%. But once you do guys, you will instantly teleport to your target, dealing a fatal damage. By dealing fatal damage, I think they meant an instant kill. However, opponents can dodge this skill if they have an invincibility skill or if they use the Eye of Agamotto, but they do have to time it right and I think I've seen it happen twice. Anyway, most often than not, it's gonna be a fatal hit. Remember though, you need to lower the enemy's HP to 15% so that you can actually do it. Also, once she teleports to her target, she deals a good amount of damage to anyone near it as well as slowing them down. She also generates a huge chunk of shield. This lets you have more confidence in jumping towards your target even though it's behind the enemy lines. But still, try to size up your chances of surviving. Anyway, like I said guys, just a quick rundown on her skills. Enjoy the rest of this Proxima Midnight gameplay. Thanks!
enemy hero has been defeated. An ally hero has been defeated. An enemy turret has been destroyed. I do love these deadly things. Hero has been defeated. The Black Order will never. Retreat. An ally turret has been destroyed. Death. Amazing. I inhale them. Incredible! An ally turret has been destroyed. Huh? Yeah. Assemble! I smell Retreat. slaughter in the air. An enemy turret has been destroyed. An ally turret has been destroyed. Feel your life bleed away. This will be true. Tragedy. An enemy hero has been defeated. I do love these deadly games. An enemy turret has been destroyed. 
An enemy turret has been destroyed. Holy shit! Nice assist. Victory streak! An enemy turret has been destroyed. An enemy turret has been removed. Nice assist. Nice assist. Double KO. Legendary! Victory streak! And there you have it guys, so what do you think of Proxima Midnight? Would you use her? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video, thank you for watching.